In the previous section we discussed the printing revolution. Shortly after the innovations by Gutenberg, millions and later billions of printed copies spread out through Europe. Not only books rolled off the presses, especially short books and leaflets, collectively named pamphlets, were printed to entertain, persuade and inform readers. From the 16th century, these pamphlets were in many ways the new mass medium, giving information and opinion on current affairs, spreading the news and commentary on that news throughout Europe. It was through pamphlets that many religious and political debates were fought out. It was pamphlets that informed multitudes about great military victories and defeats, about the gossip that surrounded the European royal houses. Pamphlets had many styles. They could be serious or very funny. They were written for the learned and those who could hardly read, and everyone in between. In 16th century Venice, the first newspaper was published, and quickly after this also German, Dutch and English newspapers appeared. But these newspapers didn't reach a mass audience, as they remained for a long time a medium for the elite, with a small readership and a focus on foreign political news. Pamphlets, however, discussed foremost domestic and even local news. Readership could be quite high and there is a lot of evidence that suggests they were read out loud in marketplaces and in taverns for people who couldn't read. Illustrations and attention gaining covers further added to their popular appeal. This graph shows that in the Dutch Republic, every newsworthy event or crisis was accompanied by hundreds of pamphlets. The first peaks are important moments in the Eighty Years' War, in which the Dutch won their independence from Spain. Later, we see that hundreds of pamphlets were published when the Republic was attacked from three sides, by France, Münster and Cologne at the same time in 1672. A hateful pamphlet campaign put the blame at the feet of two leading politicians which led to their deaths at a public lynching. Historical evidence suggests that political enemies of these politicians were actually behind the smear campaign that led to their deaths. Examples like these showed contemporary scholars the powers of mass communication. It clearly paid off to heed public opinion and to be able to use mass media like the influential pamphlet press. Scholars like Niccolo Machiavelli approached the topic of mass communication from this political power angle using elements from antiquity and combining these with new ideas. This approach was the starting point of a truly modern communication science. We'll look at how that evolved in the next and final section of this week.